wondering, what do you have to know when it comes to special needs and community? So we are currently in week nine of the VIP Board Exam Prep Academy. It is a learn at your pace full course where you learn what you have to know for the board exam. So you don't have to join at any certain time. You can join any time and it's per week. So every module you learn at your own pace, week one, two, three, four, etc. Well, week eight, when you get to that point is community and mock exam practice, sorry, community and special needs. We have a lecture class, but then also mock exam classes as well. So I'm going to give you guys a quick sneak peek inside the PowerPoints that I taught just this morning inside the course, because for community and special needs, you do have to study for them, of course, but I don't want you to study 12 hours of community, 12 hours of special needs, because you don't actually have to know that much for the board exam, believe it or not. If you go and try to study from your textbook, it's going to be hundreds and hundreds of pages. And do not do that because that will be a waste of your time. So what I've done is I've taken the textbooks, three or four different ones, and I've compiled them and explained things all into one PowerPoint. So it's so much easier to study. So let me just show you guys first the community PowerPoint that I do have. So make sure to know the indices. That is very important. I gave you guys kind of a quick rundown on those. But then we also talk about the different theories and we talk about what it means to be a community healthcare professional because it's not just about working in a dental office. It's going out in, in the community and teaching them about different theories and kind of keeping in mind in your head. Well, if this community has a hard time getting food or getting water or getting toothbrushes, um, I need to focus on that first because they're not going to care if I give them an, an electric toothbrush. You know, they have never had one. So we kind of have to go through all of that too. So I do explain that for you inside the course as well. But look at the different models. So you need to look at the health belief model. There's different models. So remember when a client is trying to quit smoking, you need to put them into different stages. Where are they in their quitting smoking? Do they not want to quit at all? Have they tried to quit seven times or have they quit for a couple months? So these are the different stages and steps that you have to know for the board exam. We go through again, different theories. We talk about open ended questions versus closed ended questions. The more more you ask them, the more they don't just have to say yes or no, you'll get more information out of them. So that's extremely important. And then what it means to work with children versus working with an adult, what they might understand, what they might not. But then the super non fun parts is now talking about the learning ladders, the scientific method. So you have to know all of that for the board exam. You have to know the different types. You have to know the different type of um, research and what's happening and the different studies and the different trials. Because these are the types of case studies questions that they're going to ask you. And don't worry, when it comes to case studies questions, we go through that in our next class. So every week's class we have, we have a lecture class where I teach you the topic and then a full hour of mock exams and case studies. So we go through the types of questions that you might have on the board exam. So so going through the slides again, just kind of skipping through you guys. We talk about all of this inside the course of the um, VIP Board Exam Prep Academy. You get the full access to the course for the entire year and all um, new PowerPoints, new updates. Oh, my apologies. I just noticed a spelling mistake here. Um, this is a new PowerPoint, so I should have looked at it before I came on YouTube here. But... <laughs> These are all from the textbook. So you don't have to open up your textbooks anymore. Go through the PowerPoints and I teach you what you have to know. So you don't have to think, okay, do I go through the textbook for community? Do I, do I go through the notes with dental health tutoring? Do I listen to Andrea's teachings, the modules? What do I, what do I do? So per week, I tell you what to do. I give you teaching videos on the topic, but then also mock exam practice in our teaching video, but then also quizzes. So you're constantly learning. And we have a members only Facebook group as well to ask questions, to attend any classes that we do have, to go through mock exams, case studies and, and questions. So even if you happen to be studying week two, um, module two, and another student is studying week eight, that student might have a question on, on um, community, but you might have a question on oral pathology. You can ask me anytime in the Facebook group and I'm going to answer you and other members might see your question too and they'll be able to answer you too. So you're constantly learning, you're constantly studying and I am here to help you, which is the main thing, right? 
So let me just give you guys a quick overview because we were also going over special needs this week. So just quickly what you have to know for that. So let me just move this. Oh, sorry, guys. Let's just move this over. So who are patients with special needs? They are seniors, those with mental illness, those who are in a hospital for six months because they've just had a they've just had a heart attack or or something equally serious. They're with patients who have dentures, but don't take them out at night. Those um, patients who have a disability, but you need to know different categories for different things. So this is talking about dentures more specifically. So make sure to know the different categories for the board exam, because they're going to ask you. On the board exam, they love to ask about seniors and dentures, let me tell you. So make sure to study that, but don't forget the other things too. So I'm going to go through this again for you. Um, how are you going to treat seniors versus an adult who is in a wheelchair but can't speak? You know, like you're going to need to know all of those different things. Of course, there's going to be different theories and different perspectives on aging. So keep that in mind. This is, of course, if somebody's dealing with a heart attack. What about high blood pressure? So we go through these things as well when we're talking about medical and medical emergencies. We have a full module on medical emergencies, but we also go through it again again when we're talking about special needs so you're constantly kind of going back with what you learned before so you're not just learning something once and then I never teach it to you again it's constantly reviewing so you don't have to think oh geez do I have to go back to, to module one to learn that because I forget it it's been three months because you do have full access to the VIP package for one full year so you don't have to sign up like two weeks before you take the exam you can take your time to go through the modules it's really really nice and it's learn at your own pace so but what I was getting at is you're constantly learning and I'm reteaching you things so you can't forget anything. These are PowerPoints too that I've taken from different textbooks. So you don't have to go through the textbooks again. Ah, this is a big one on the board exam. Make sure to know cataracts and glaucoma. They ask that quite often and I don't want you guys to forget it. This is all inside the PowerPoint. So you know when you're looking through these PowerPoints, you are learning what you have to know for the board exam. Nothing more and nothing less. I've made it very, very easy for you and I am always here to help, which is the main thing, right? So I hope that helped you guys to give you guys a little sneak peek. We are currently in week eight, but you can sign up today and start with week one or follow along with week eight. It's totally up to you. You can even start week two or week 11. You can kind of do whatever you want. It's all learn at your own pace per module. So I make studying very easy for you. If you need anything or have questions, you guys let me know. There is now a chat feature on the website at www.dentalwell.com. If you haven't yet, please click like that does help me and my channel and make sure to subscribe because there's new videos every Mondays and Thursdays. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.